Samantha wants to provide secure transactions for purchases made through her store's online storefront. She purchased a Turbo SSL certificate so she can protect credit card numbers and other sensitive information for her customers. Let's follow Samantha as she completes the certificate request process for her Turbo SSL certificate. I've logged into my account. Now, where do I go to set up my new SSL certificate? Oh, right here. This is it. Better get started. I purchased a Turbo SSL certificate. Next step is to select the credit I want to use. I need to log in to proceed with this certificate request. Since I haven't done this before, I'll create an account. It looks like the information is populated for my customer account. All I have to do is create a password and accept the terms of the license agreement. That's easy enough. I want to use a two-year Turbo SSL. My website is hosted with a third party, not with a certificate provider. Now to verify my contact information. Because the fields are populated with my account information, I don't need to change anything. Hmm, I need to generate and submit a certificate signing request. Great, CSR generation instructions are available right here. Looks like I need to go one step further and open the instructions for working with my server type. If I didn't know my server type, I could find it in my hosting account. This list shows the server types I can select from. Because the process for generating the request depends on the type of server I have, I'll generate it behind the scenes, and then I'll return to this window. Now that I've generated my request and copied the information, I can close this window and return to the Certificate Requester Information section. This is where I paste the text I generated. I'm using Microsoft Internet Information Service server software. I can agree to this. Here's the information for my request. It looks correct, so I'll submit it. That's it! My request has been submitted. The certificate provider will send an email message about processing my request. Here's the email message. As the legal registrant and administrator of the domain affiliated with this certificate, I must approve the certificate request. Wow, that was quick! I already received an email notifying me that my signed certificate has been issued and is ready for installation. I need to click the link to download the certificate. I have to download the signed certificate and the Certification Authority's Intermediate Certificates. I'll make sure I've selected the correct server type so I can download the right files. Now I need to download and save the files on my local machine. Certificate instructions are available for all of the most common types of web servers. I am using IIS 6. That's it! These are the instructions I need. Seems easy enough. I'll simply follow these directions so I can run secure transactions on my website in no time. With the installation of her Turbo SSL certificate completed, Samantha can operate her online store without having to worry about security. The entire process took less than an hour to complete. Now Samantha is ready to do business securely on the web.